In this episode, the team visits Kampong Wak Hassan in Sembawang. Kampong Wak Hassan is the oldest village in Singapore, so it's no surprise that this is one of the most haunted locations this country has ever known. It was originally a coconut plantation that was established in 1914 by Wak Hassan bin Ali. It was later transformed into a fishing village before it was cleared by the government at the end of the 1990s. This is the Hungry Ghost Festival special and we're here at Kampong Wak Hassan which is supposed to be one of the most haunted places in Singapore and we've got viewers of the show that have won the contest to be on our show. We have Joel and we've got Eds. Now, first up, I want to ask you guys, what do you expect to experience tonight? Well, I come here as a skeptic and uh, whatever comes my way, you know, we're going to investigate it together and as a team and if I see anything, I'll definitely sound it out and we go together. Yeah, but you said together. Yeah. What if we put you alone at a spot that we feel that is haunted enough to give you an experience that you will never forget? I came here to go on an adventure, so why not? Just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. We got this on camera though, so yeah, you yeah. can't back out. Yeah, I can't. My wife will be watching this, so yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Ed, what do you hope to experience tonight? Okay, firstly, I want to say that uh, many years ago, I was here uh, serving my national service in the police force. I was attached to uh, Sembawang NPC. We used to do our patrols around here, uh, although I didn't experience anything. But uh, I heard a lot of stories, so tonight, I want to make sure, I want to, you know, like, uh, find out uh, whether those stories are true. To find out if these ghost stories are true, Noel and the team began their paranormal investigation by exploring the perimeter of this spooky spot. The team came across an old gate that could have led to either a house or maybe even a cemetery. I don't know about you guys, but the energy feels a little different here. Uh, I don't know what this gate led to. Could be to the mosque, maybe. Uh, Joel said maybe could have led to a cemetery. I know there was a cemetery here before. Is there somebody here that wants to make contact with us? We just got here not long ago. Uh, this area feels a little different, so I don't know whether it's good or bad. But if you would like to make contact, could make a sound, could even knock on the door like this, could say something, you could touch one of us. There are five of us here. They always say do not go sun in odd numbers. <laughs> well, there are five of us. They say do not do it during the Hungry Ghost Festival. We are here today. And they also say do not do it on a Thursday night, Malam Jumaat. That's when you have um, a lot of activity, right? So, maybe we would come across a Pontiana. Maybe we would be lucky to hear her laugh, scream. She could fly over us. We could maybe see a pocho. And the best part about this place is that a lot of mediums, a lot of bomos, right, they, they dump the spirits that they catch. They dump them here. We have people that would throw their mandi bunga, that's the, the is it seven flowers? Uh, not too sure. Does anybody know? Michael? Nope, not at all. Okay. I, I think it's seven flowers. Uh, so after they bathe with the flowers, they have to they have to throw the flowers somewhere so they come here. There's there's a lot there's a lot going on, right? There's many different type of entities. You have the good, the bad, 
We want to speak to both, the good and the bad. Maybe you could touch Joel. Can't touch me. We can touch the uh, receiver that I, I, I ring. I can hear something growl. Desmond, you got it? Mm. What? From the back? From the back, yeah. Yeah, you heard it as well? Yeah. Anybody else heard this growl? I didn't hear. I was talking while the group growl. Yes? No. I, I know you're around here somewhere. Come on, you can come forth and touch me. I'm absolutely touch my sure, head. right? I heard a growl. Mm. And I heard something growl and then Michael heard what I heard as well. Mm. It's somewhere here. If you're the entity that growl, could you please come closer? The growl doesn't do anything, right? We didn't run away. A short while later, an unknown voice was picked up by our cameras. You have to show us something. If you are one of these trees, maybe you can come down. Come down and touch me. Or maybe make a noise. Rattle one of the trees. One of the branches. The team asked Ed to speak in Malay, but this did not yield any results. Hey, uh, I'm Malay. 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 I'm Yeah, it was, it was scary and we heard it twice and you, the cameraman, you didn't hear it. Look, these guys didn't hear it, it was just Michael and myself. And then after that, the guys heard noises coming from a tree. But when we got to the tree, nothing happened. But it's a good start because this is just the beginning of our investigation at Kampung Wahasan. Everyone had to be extra careful not to step on offerings and joysticks which were littered everywhere. Noel felt very uneasy because working in the dark can be challenging and he didn't want any member of his team to come into harm's way. In a multiracial country like Singapore, it's very important that we respect all religions. During the Hungry Ghost Festival, you may come across offerings such as food, joysticks, and incense paper on footpaths. Please do not touch these items. But if you happen to step on them by accident, we strongly advise you to apologize immediately to avoid offending a spirit. The last part of the investigation was conducted along a drain, which is said to be haunted by a puntiana. Just as Michael and Eds were about to start, Something strange happened. Yeah, when you ready? Wait, wait, wait. Dog, right? Howling. Dogs are howling? Okay. Did you capture the howling? Yes. Okay. Is there anything here? Anybody here? Wow, the howling gets so aggressive. Yeah, the howling getting closer. Right? Yeah, man. You think they are coming over? I don't know, man. Can you check out where's the howling and the barking? Sure. Okay, Let's get a dog. He's coming in. The howling getting a bit aggressive, huh? It's somewhere around here. Yeah. Okay. 
for the inner. Yeah, but for the I don't think we can walk all the way in. No? Barking and the howling from the pack of dogs assigned to us. Do you want us to leave? If you want us to leave, please show us another sign. We cannot explain why paranormal activity ceased after the dogs stopped howling. It was as though these canines were in control. Perhaps they were trying to warn the team and prevent them from venturing further into uncharted territory.